welcome back. This is Anthony Tejada, your local Orlando realtor. And today we are in the heart of St. Cloud at Deer Run, right off of Deer Run the street. Now, this is KB Homes Deer Run again, and the model is 1707, right? Which is the square foot of the home also. Now it's a four bedroom, two bath, two car home, right? And now depending on elevation, the house can be between 362,990 or 366,990. Again, depending on elevation at the time of video. Now, if you love this home, if you, you can hit the subscribe and alert buttons down below, let's go see this gorgeous home. All right, guys, here we are in the front of the 1707. As you can see, this is also our model center. So our reps will be in here where the garage, the two car garage would be, but what's indicative that is a two car garage is that you can see your coach lights on the sides as well and i love the peak with the coastal look and the slats also the full shutters on the side where the windows are now let's walk straight up into this large foyer system that we have going on right here leading up to this gorgeous Blue door. Blue door. <laughs> Love the blue door. We haven't now, seen a blue door in a while. Yeah, I know. Now we're going to go in and let's check out this home. So as we come in to the 1707 plan, I just want to mention, look at the floors. We have gorgeous slate tiles, right? All the way through the first level of the home, except for the bedrooms. Now on the right, as we soon as we come in, we have two bedrooms and a large powder room here. Let's start with the powder room. This is the size of a room. Yeah, I know. Would they convert this or they would leave it this big? I be, Well, it looks like they might convert it because we do have the you know, handicap yeah. rails and all that. So yeah. it might, but it, they might be a, it might be a full bathroom. Well, I'll leave it in the descriptions as if it is. But I do like the pedestal sink. But let's go to the left, right, <laughs> right if I'm facing the other way. And we head to the first bathroom. I'm, I'm bedroom, <laughs> bedroom. Oh my goodness. We're still thinking about the bathroom. So we have a window for natural lighting. You can see a twin bed here and a desk. We do have the cadenza in front and then a half step in closet off to the side. And as you lead out of that ba uh, bedroom, <laughs> I almost did it again. <laughs> um, we go into the next bedroom here which is a nice little cutesy looking room, right? Another twin bed, like a day bed here. We have a window for natural lighting. You can see that we have a cadenza mirror desk, but also you half step in over here. So w when we're done with these two bedrooms, we come back out to the main trunk of the room. Go ahead, Barry. I didn't Pam. measure. I mean, I measured. Uh, they're both nine by nine. Nine by nine are the two bedrooms that we just looked at. So pretty good size. Now, as we come back to the trunk, we go to the left and we hit our laundry room here. Now there is no washer and dryer, but you can, you can see the hookups for it. Very nice. And then we get to what looks like the guest suite of the home. Now I just want to mention, Look how low the window goes, past my knee. Lots of window real estate, love that because all that light flushes in. We have a full size bed. We have the nice stands and a cadenza here, even a mirror off into the corner, but we do have that walk-in closet there. And while Pam's showing you the walk-in closet, what's the size of this room, Pam? Nine by 10. Nine by 10 is the size of this room. Now, as we move forward, back into the trunk, we move, towards the main body of the home. Pam's gonna show you the utility closet here. AC, halfway up, and also your pantry. We're gonna show you your pantry there. And the reason why we're showing your pantry is because it is across from your kitchen space. So here we have this beautiful island with the, uh, quartz, uh, the granite on top over here as well. Now, Pam, how big is this island? This very useful island <laughs> is 12 by 4. 12 by 4. And why is it useful? Because it doesn't have a sink. Okay. And if you need to lay it out for a pan, um, what do you call it? Bakery those? and stuff? Not bakery. 
buffet. A buffet, a buffet. okay. A buffet like a serving is, area. Yes, ah. perfect serving area. Gotcha. Yeah, that's true. Perfect for bakers. Yeah, so your sink's not set in here. I think that's what Pam's talking about. I'm trying so, to say yes. <laughs> so your sink is here actually in front of this beautiful window that's rectangular and you can slide across. And you also have a view while you're washing dishes. But what she's, I think what Pam is trying to get at is that you can <laughs> lay this out uh, when you're entertaining people or when you're baking because it's a solid straight surface and no dips in. Correct. Okay, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, before we go on with the kitchen area, I just want to let you know that we, it, what's immediate to the area is a Publix, which is four minutes away. Then you have Disney Springs, which is about 20 minutes, 21 minutes away. Melbourne Beach is about 38 minutes away. And then the Lake Nona area and all the shopping, dining, restaurant, medical city and all that, 25 minutes away. All right, guys, so you know that you're close to almost everything, but you're not living on top of it. Now, moving on, I did show you the dishwasher. I did show you the sink. These beautiful 36 inch cabinets. I do like this blonde wood color. We have our microwave range and oven set here, all electric, right? We do have the refrigerator cubby. Just letting you know at the time of video, refrigerator is not included, but that does change from time to time. You just have to call us for the incentives. Now we do have the overhang here, right? Oh, and that's very nice. But moving along, let's start on that side. I know we're going in circles. <laughs> but we have the informal dining, which is pretty nice, right? It's a very nice area for you to have a nice meal with about six of your friends, five of your friends, well, six including you, right? So it's five of your friends. But what's also interesting with this is that, oh yeah, let me not forget to unclick this. <laughs> we have your covered lanai space. Now you do see we can fit a nice little, um, you know, patio furniture here. You can see where your backyard ends with the trees a little bit beyond that tree line. But you do have a space here where you can have coffee in the morning, smoke a cigarette, or of my favorite, have some bubble gum, right? And watch them do construction, at least for the first few months, and then it'll quiet down. <laughs> but let's roll back into the home. Sorry about that noise. It is a brand new community. We will roll in to our living room space or family gathering room. Now, the first thing I notice is the two windows for natural lighting, awesome. Big old couch, two coffee tables, two chairs, decent sized TV, <laughs> but we do have the cadenza. Pam, you have the size of the space? Well, wall to wall. Wall to wall, that means from the informal to the TV. Correct, 25 by 14. 25 by 14 for the entertainment open areas of the home, that is amazing. Right, that's a lot of space to entertain, guys. Now, and that's not even including the kitchen. We do have a sort of a sweater storage closet here off of the master, maybe for game nights when you put your vid uh, video games, maybe your games in there, your friends come over, you can take it from there and just have a board, day, board game night. But we have this little cutout here, here's the doorway, and we enter our primary bedroom suite. Now look how expansive this is. Now the first thing I'm gonna notice is of course almost below the knee height on the two windows for not all that uh, window real estate, all that natural light flushing into the room, giving it a nice fresh look. We have a seating area here, cadenza, small TV, but then we have, look how ultra large these nightstands are with a king size bed in the middle. That's a lot of space. How much space, Pam? They're humongous, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I know. Uh, 14 by 12. 14 by 12. Look, I mean, you can fit over large furniture, no problem. And that is awesome. Now, I'm going to cut across. And look, they did fan, no chandelier. Oh, nice. <laughs> I want to cut across and enter our primary bath suite. And Pam's going to show you the closet that is on the right next to the shower. Look at that big linen closet. Walk-in. Walk-in linen closet. Then you do have a shower set here. I love the tile work they did in there. About six, seven feet up. Then you have your dual vanities with that same cabinetry that follows you from the kitchen area and of course the famous Pam. And then we have <laughs> our commode. And as you're passing me, you have your walk-in closet. So guys, if you love this home, 
Give me a second because I got a couple tidbits more of information for you and I'll get right with it. All right, guys, did you love this home? Did this home fit you and your family's needs? Well, then give me a call, 407-790-0929. My name is Anthony Tejada. Hit the alert and subscribe buttons down below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.